Now, I got to go back a step. I apologize. I told you the wallet is a major form and the purse. It's 30 to 40% of all personal identity theft. And then I did nothing to help you protect it. Let me borrow that one last time, and I'll show you how to protect it. <laughs> Have I taught you nothing? <laughs> Did you hear it? Did you hear the reaction that you might not have had when you walked in? She even withheld it for a minute, right? She didn't give it right away, but I just stood there, and I would have stood there until I had to, and pretty soon I would have pulled out my wallet, which is full of fake credit cards and lots of cash, which doesn't matter because I really got to get the purse a second time. I get the purse every time a second time, despite the fact that I have just trained you on not giving it away. Well, you guys say, well, this is different. This is different. Because we're all here, we're DGs, and you're just a puny little son of, of Adam, and we would, we would kick your ass if you walked out with this thing, and yet nobody does anything, and I'm gone. See, she's up. So there's one person who's not apathetic, right? Do you think that she will ever give this purse away a third time without saying hogwash aggressively? You're not so sure, are you? <laughs> What's your name? Jenny. Jenny. A little bit more information. <laughs> Jenny, you've been a peach. Listen, it's way too much information to go through how to protect this wallet in one one-hour session. So I would like to give you, number one, your purse back. Oh. Hang on. Oh, she's getting more aggressive. Do you think she'll ever give it away when we go through it together, item by juicy item? No, 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 I won't. I won't. She's, she's getting, she's, oh, oh, God, oh, God. What's in there? What do you DGs keep? Thank you very much. I'd like to give you a free copy of my book, Chapter 5. Trust me, it will help. Give her a hand. Here. Hold up the book for a second. <laughs> Further from your face. No, no. Further from your face. Oh, oh. Rosemary's going to love that one. It makes a perfect license. Oh, here, look at that. Hold that for a second. Yeah, those screens take great fingerprints. <laughs> Just perfect. I'm kidding with you. I'd also like to give you a copy of my video. It goes through all of this stuff um, in great detail. Go Oh, it's empty. I'm so sorry. I'll send it to you. Do you have a business card? Or... $40 value. Oh, here, we'll write it down. I got a pen. No? You sure? Hogwash, right? She gets it. Go ahead and now give her a full hand. Would you stand up here for a second? They're taking a picture of it. That would be perfect for our marriage license. <laughs> the point here is not just the humor. It's that even though I've just trained you on it, when somebody's good, they can just get more and more information out of you. And you say, this is a different situation. Right, and it's a different situation when a social engineer is doing it, and they're pulling the same levers that I just did. I flattered her. I embarrassed her. It's easy to be out here because you're watching from the outside. When you're there and the brain's pumping, should I do this, should I not do this? Hang on, he's just standing there. I'm going to be embarrassed. Bam! It's that easy to get it. I'm not telling you something that you already don't know, that you haven't been trained by your parents, your loved ones. I am simply giving you permission to slow down, to say a hogwash, to ask a few questions. The value here is curiosity. And to say, you know what, that's my information. I'm not comfortable giving it away. Let me think about it for a minute. If you get that, you are going to be so much safer in so many things you can't believe it.